on Kingdom Driven Entrepreneur Family. This is Shay Bynes, founder and chief fire igniter of Kingdom Driven Entrepreneur. And with me is Phil Bynes. Phil Bynes, CEO. You know, <laughs> you know what we do. You know what we do. You know what it we has do. been a couple Wednesdays since we have done this, Phil. Gone mm -hmm. live on the page. Yeah. So we missed you guys. Um, but there's been all kinds of other stuff going on. <laughs> but we are back today. And today we're gonna have a little bit of a chat about are you still or are you stationary? So Phil, why don't you kick off our chat? Yeah, this morning, man, I, I woke up pretty early in the morning and this thought came to my mind and I was thinking still versus stationary, right? And what the scripture that came to mind was be still and know that, you know, I am God, right? Yes. And what happens a lot of times with being still is it feels like it's not active. But what God was speaking to me is being still is being filled with faith and being active. It's actually a position of being active. And so I looked at the other word stationary. I was like, oh, I get it now. You know, to be stationary means something co totally different. And so that's yes. what was on my mind. And I figured we can chat about that a little bit today. Yeah. Yeah, super good. I see Linda's in the house. What's going on, Linda? <laughs> Linda said, yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Linda loves to hang out with us on the page on Wednesdays. But yeah, it's like the, when we think about this as a, a business owner, because we're always trying, you are trying to apply, apply the word to our everyday as business owners, right? And, and that word, be still and know that I am God. And that's the scripture you're referring to, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So be still and know that I am God. And so oftentimes the perspective is almost like, okay, well, hmm, be still and know that I am God. Okay. So as it relates to like, let's, let's say the Lord's saying, you know, to be still, let's just say that that's the instruction you feel like you're getting from the Lord concerning your business. You could interpret that. <laughs> and say, oh, the Lord's telling me to put this whole thing on pause. Hold on. Let me press the pause button on this business. Let me not do anything right now. Uh, we could go to the extreme. Oh, maybe he's telling me to like stop doing something altogether. Some people might say, well, maybe I'm supposed to pause. Some might say, well, maybe I, that just simply means to simply means to just trust God as I'm doing this or whatever. And we can come with all types of assumptions of what that could look like or what that means. And I think what I'm what I'm hearing you say is like we don't want to operate out of assumption around stillness yeah. and make it seem as though that stillness means a posture of stationary because that's not the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. As I was thinking through it and as I was writing stuff down, this is this is going to be in a rapid fire probably next week sometime. Yeah. But as I was thinking about stationary, the words that came to mind were fixed. Sometimes it's bolted down. It's bolted not down. mobile. Yes. Not mobile. <laughs> right. All these things. Right. But the position of being still, when you think about the things in the Bible that God talked about still like, OK, his still small voice. Yes. The voice is still active, right? Yes. It's just calm. It's still, right? It's not necessarily chaotic, right? Or if we think about um, stillness from the standpoint of um, a river, a river is still, well, guess yes. what? The river is flowing when it's still, you know, it's not yes. inactive. It is flowing. It's just in a state of calm, right? You know, it, it may be minute movements. Right. And the imagery that God kind of gave to me, I'll give you the first one, you know, when it comes yeah. to stationary versus still yes. stationary. Think about the bike. You have a stationary bike. It's immobile. Even though you can get at the pedal and it can do certain stuff, it's not designed to go anywhere. You know, right. It's stationary. But if you took a bicycle, a regular bicycle, yes. there's a way that you can it can be still. It could be stationary, quote unquote stationary, but it is not stationary. It's mobile. Yeah. It can it can spring into action at any time. You know, you just get on and start paddling. You're going to go somewhere. Right. And so that's the first imagery that God gave me for being still um, versus um, being stationary. Yeah. And the other the secondary one was really powerful. 
but I want to give you space to talk some more before I jump. No, into no, that. no. Go ahead. Go so ahead and give it. Go to right me. into it. Yeah. The other Im imagery he gave me was thinking about a big cat, any big cat. Let's say a tiger or a, a lion. A big cat. Oh, a big cat. Okay. Yes, like a lion or a tiger. Yeah. When it's in the crouching position, it is being still, but it's being still very purposefully and powerfully. Because at any moment, it can convert that potential energy of being still. All the muscles are taut and is ready to go. It's ready yeah. to pounce to kinetic energy where it springs into action and catches its prey. That's yeah. what God is speaking to us in when he wants us to be still. It's, it's not like being inactive for no reason. You are still for a very distinct reason to the appropriate time when he's going to cause you to spring into action. Yeah. It's that that intentionality. Mm -hmm. that intentionality. I was looking at, I wonder, I was not ignoring you, but I was actually mm -hmm. in the word looking and looking at a couple of different translations and seeing how uh, I, that Psalm 46 and 10. And I was looking to see, okay, well, what I, I, I knew that there was one that I thought that really stuck out to me. And I thought it was the passion translation and it was, and in Psalm 46 and 10 in the passion, it's surrender your anxiety, be silent and stop your striving. And you will see that I am God. It's mm -hmm. like you're getting the sense of the fact that this is an active thing. What are you stopping? You're striving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be still. Stop your striving. Surrender mm -hmm. the anxiety. Stop the grinding here. Like rest in me. Be silent. Be be restful. You know, that rest as a, which rest is not the same thing as sleep. <laughs> same mm -hmm. thing we were talking, you know, same yeah. type of situation, right? So still doesn't mean stationary. Mm -hmm. Stillness is still an action. Yes. It's still an intentionality. It's, mm -hmm. it's an active heart posture and it's an active mindset, which is why I love what you said about the big cat. That yeah. was a powerful example. It mm -hmm. is still, but it's still, but it's active. Yeah. yeah. It's an intentional and active posture of mm -hmm. stillness. Yeah, because if you're stationary, what happens is you can get lulled into um, sleep, right? <laughs> In activity, not doing anything, thinking that there's nothing more that's coming, right? Yes. But if you're still and you're in this position of kinetic, like not kinetic energy, but potential energy potential ready energy. to go at any time, Yes. Then you can easily make whatever transition that God wants you to make in the moment. You know, if yes. you're stationary, you'll miss the hand of God. You'll miss the move of God. God was here and I perceived it not. You know, yeah. because you can get real lazy with it. Right. Right. That's super good. I'm going and looking and seeing what other translations we've got going uh -huh. on here for <laughs> 46 and 10. Um, in the Amplified, it says, uh, be still and know, and it's like recognize and understand. Again, it's active. It is not passive, right? It's not, I love that. I'm going through and seeing what else we got. Okay. <laughs> <It's the mom. laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to see what else we got because all of it is, is active. Oh, so this, okay, that, you know, that one's kind of weird. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some translations you read and you're like, where'd I come from? Where'd like, I come from? <laughs> Are we talking about the same? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just had one of those moments right then. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me look at another one. A lot of these are still saying, be still and know, be still mm -hmm. and know. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look in the Blue Letter Bible, mm -hmm. which is where I go when I'm doing a word study. Yeah. And so that we can see what it says in there. So Psalm, we just doing this live, y'all. We just doing this mm -hmm. live. We didn't, yeah. we didn't plan mm -hmm. this out. Here it is. Go ahead, babe. Yeah, I was going to say another thing that God was pointing out to me it is a position being still is a position of submission, right? You're sub, you're submitting yourself to the direction of God in that moment. And that direction is, OK, pause, be still, get ready, you know, keep your attention, keep your focus. Right. Um, and if we keep that in mind when we're thinking about when God's like when we're going to God for instructions, OK, Lord, what should I do? And he tells you, hey, don't don't do anything with your business. I want you to um, go cook for your wife or, you know, go clean your house or whatever the case is. Right. That is a position 
an opportunity for you to submit to what God is saying because he knows what's on the other side of it. And he also knows what he's going to do in the midst of you um, doing the instruction that he gives you in out of your obedience. So once again, it's a position of power. It's a position of faith. Yes. And yeah, all those things. But go ahead with your translation. No, that's all. I want to say hi because we got some folks up in here. Oh, okay. What's up, Erica? Ronald's in the house. Nicole, mm -hmm. how are you guys? Jesse, good to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. So I was looking in here and it says things like to relax, um, to refrain. That's why that's where that surrender your anxiety came from. Like just relax. Um, to be quiet was another one. So being quiet is not the same thing as being stationary. To be quiet is uh, is to actively cease your busyness to be quiet so that you can be positioned and postured to hear and to move as you need to. And to know, because it said be still and know mm -hmm. that I am God. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just the be still, it was a be still and know that I am God. But that's, yeah, that's what it's saying in here. This one's interesting because you talked about the big cat. Yeah, go for it. To, to sink down. So I got, it's like the crouch, the crouch position for the big cat. To mm -hmm. sink down and to drop, it says, which is totally a picture of the big cat that you just gave. Yeah, man, it's powerful. That's good, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's super good. So I love that. What are you guys saying in the comments here? You know, it's like Ronald says, that's powerful. Hi, Nabia, good to see you. It's like that just knowing that it's an active posture changes everything. It's the same exact revelation we have to have about rest. It's the same thing, you know? And so that we don't make assumptions or fall into a place of, of complacency or slothfulness or laziness or you know whatever when we're supposed to be taking an active posture instead of a passive one. Super good. Anything else you want to share share on this one? I don't have a whole lot to add to this. That was good. That was nah, enough. Man, that was I, enough to sit on right there. That's that's what he juiced for me this morning. I as yeah. I go through and finish up um the rapid fire maybe there'll be more that will come out in the actual rapid fire but yeah. as of now that's what was on my mind and on my heart yeah yeah super good and for you guys who are like he keeps talking about this rapid fire what in the world is he talking about he does this all the time he just he just assumes everyone knows what rapid fire yeah i just is. drop it <laughs> out there and... <laughs> rapid fire for those who don't know are the emails that go out so for those of you who are on our who have subscribed at kingdomdrivenentrepreneur.com uh to our email list, one of the things that goes out on a regular basis, usually about three times a week, uh, is the rapid fire messages, which is just like these doses of encouragement, kingdom thought, you know, a kingdom perspective around things that you can kind of take, you know, for your day and see how God speaks to you. Oftentimes, there's also a prayer in there from time to time as well that you can just kind of take into your day. So you guys, if you haven't connected, if you're not on our email list and you're not getting rapid fires, get on, get on it kingdomdrivenentrepreneur.com. And that's how you can get uh, connected at another level with what's going on in the community. Phil, anything else that, is there anything that we need to announce or anything like that right now? Or are we hmm. good? No, I don't think there's anything we need to announce. You know, um, okay. I think we've, we've, yeah, no, but this is the first time we're on since the, since the master, master class. class. Yeah, yeah master so. class was just, was, was off the charts and it was awesome. And yeah, those who are, who listened to the podcast, first of all, the, today's episode was great with uh, Deb Brown Marr, uh, who wrote Sell Like Jesus. It's a great conversation with her about how she was able to make that shift from her double-mindedness, love-hate relationship with sales and was able to embrace just the model of Jesus and got a kingdom perspective on how to approach how you serve in the marketplace and the sales approach. So anyway, if you haven't listened to that podcast episode, I encourage you to do so. But also next week's episode is going to be a behind the scenes chat that Phil and I, we just recorded it today. And we just share a lot of the goodness about what's going on, what happened during masterclass, some of the things that I have happened since then, which, you know, cause it's been a couple of weeks and it's a good episode. So be on the lookout for that as well. Make sure you subscribe to the Kingdom Driven Entrepreneur Podcast. As for now, Phil needs to go because we need to pick up our daughter from school. But you guys, always good to hang out with you here on Wednesdays. We got started a little bit late today, but um, I think it's something to chew on around being still 
and asking the Lord what your active still posture looks like, what your active rest posture looks like as you're walking this thing out.